Tao Yuan San Jie Yi is a famous story described in a fiction called Romance of Three Kingdoms. In the end of the Eastern Han Dynasty, a peasant uprising broke up in China, and a general was recruiting soldiers. There, three men meet Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei. The story tells that the three of them became sworn brothers in a peach garden, and then joined the battle against the uprising forces together. In order to become sworn brothers, the three would cut their fingers and put their blood in a bowl. Then they would drink a glass of wine together and say, "We seek not to be born on the same day, in the same month, and in the same year." We merely hope to die on the same day, in the same month, and in the same year. Nice to meet you. My name is Nina. Welcome to Chengdu Wuhou Shrine Museum. This is sacrament for the three kingdoms. Firstly, let me briefly introduce the historical background to you. The Three Kingdoms is a period from Chinese history that goes from 220 A.D. to 280 A.D. After a peasant uprising divided China into three kingdoms, namely Wei Kingdom, Wu Kingdom, and Shu Kingdom. The capital of Shu Kingdom was in our province of Sichuan, here in Chengdu. Emperor of Shu Kingdom was called Liu Bei. Liu Bei and his two sworn brothers, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, never gave up on the dream of defeating the other two kingdoms in order to unify China. There are two sections in this museum. Next to this historical area, there is ancient Jinli Street, a commercial street that was constructed during the Three Kingdoms period. If you have interesting and enough time, you can look around by yourself. So let's go. Please follow me. This is the statue of Liu Bei, who was emperor of Shu Kingdom. There is legendary saying that his ears were long enough to reach his shoulders. Arms were long enough to reach his knees. He is offspring of the emperor of the Han Dynasty. However, his father died when he was young, and he and his mother made a living by selling grass shoes. Liu Bei was a man of persistence and benevolence. He joined the battle at 24 and became emperor of Shu Kingdom at 62. Liu Bei told his son before dying. Don't do any evil, no matter how significant it is. Don't miss doing any good, don't matter how insignificant it is. This you see here is a statue of Zhang Fei. He was one of sworn brothers of Liu Bei. You must have noticed that his face is black. Zhang Fei was a brave general, but he often waved and hit his soldiers after he got drunk. So the black face wants to symbolize he was great general, but he had an explosive temper. One time, Zhang Fei defeated a famous general of Wei Kingdom. So happy was he that he cooked beef for all the soldiers. Zhang Fei had a black face, but he was very loyal to Liu Bei. That is why the beef's inside is red, but the outside is black. Look at the sky, the king of the sea, the strong man, the high priest.
，忠以信，智能勇，忠以千秋大英雄。各路豪杰来参拜，无有财神显老灵。看到没有，官二爷显灵了，神奇不神奇？看，又没有了。说神奇，倒神奇。不如你坐下来看仔细。如果你把我在阳片看，官老灵，年年岁岁。报平安，好，节目到此结束。This is the statue of Guan Yu. He was another one of sworn brothers of Liu Bei. After Liu Bei was defeated in a battle, Guan Yu was taken by the opponent Cao Cao. Cao Cao awarded him with gold and treasure, proposing him to be his hand. Guan Yu refused. Although he was moved by Cao Cao's sincerity, in repay, Guan Yu defeated Cao Cao's enemy, and so he was allowed to return with his master Liu Bei. For this smart action, Guan Yu is sought as the fortune god. His figure can be found in many Chinese homes, in order to keep families safe and attract fortune and prosperity. If you look over here, you can see a faithful reproduction of Guan Yu's weapon. It was named Green Dragon Scrape Blade. Ancient Jinli Street was constructed during the period of Three Kingdoms. In that moment, the main business of the street was producing and selling brocade. Jin means brocade, Li means arrow, means street. So Jinli means brocade street. Brocade was the economy base of Shu Kingdom. Because of this, Chengdu has another name. Jingguan, which means the city of Great Gate. In real history, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zhang Fei, they didn't become brothers. And as you can imagine, they didn't die on the same day, the same month, and the same year. Guan Yu was killed in 220 AD by forces of the Wu Kingdom. Guan Yu's head was sent to Cao Cao, who arranged noble's funeral for him. Zhang Fei was killed by two of his own soldiers in 221 AD. He was beheaded and his head and body were also buried in different places. Liu Bei died of illness in 223 AD. Only two years had passed since he had become emperor.